December the 20th. And I'm here with Miss Patty once again and one of my fiber friends, Adrian, no. who just happened to be here this morning. So I roped her into joining us for this video today. And we have another friend who's standing off screen at the moment, Virtuti. Maybe she'll shout hello at us. Hello. <laughs> And I'm going to have her on the sh on the show another time. So, as you have guessed, um, I've brought Miss Patty back today because you all loved her so much, and everything that we showed you in her house, um, we were all really big fans. So, and I loved all your encouraging comments, <laughs> and I, I was blown away by the response. Isn't I, it fun? I really appreciate all your your good wishes and wonderful comments. Yeah, no, yeah. it's just, it was so fun to read everybody's kind things that they had to say. Then there were two things that people were most interested in. The first thing um, was the giant pillows. So I'm sure you've guessed by now that this is why we're back here today to show you about the gigantic pillows. And the other thing was the waffle stitch. Oh. People were very interested in the waffle stitch. So I may have to have you come on again another day to, to show us more oh, about okay. that. So the giant pillows. So Patty and I have met here today um, to show you some of the different fabrics and you know the size of the fabric and the different types of fabric that you can look for for yourself if you would like to replicate Patty's amazing pillows. And let's face it, they're amazing. <laughs> All over your house, right? Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of them. <laughs> Every time I turned around, there were three more pillows. So it was pretty cool. So we had Kathy's help this morning in having a look at the fabric because I think originally she had just given you a few yards of a an unidentified mm -hmm. fabric to try that was sort of sitting here at the shop and hadn't she knows I like to work on the larger account fabrics and yeah so this is so Patty put it to good use it. yeah yeah she put it yeah. to good use yeah. so um, Kathy has helped me find a couple of alternatives here since we're not exactly sure what this is um, the closest that we can find here at the shop that will work that I really like. Um, the first one is a Floba. And I know Michelle, Bendy Stitchy, you've been using this lately. This is an 18 count in natural color um, and it's called Floba. And I'll put the spelling of that. I'll edit that in. Sorry, Miss Patty, totally covering up your oh, face there. <laughs> That's what we do to Louise on the Fire Friends. Everything is in the middle and we're always covering up her face when you're in the middle. So um, that is a pretty nice, pretty nice, almost identical. We think that this is a little bit uh, larger, a count. little bit larger count. This may be a 14 count over two. This is an eight or 16 might be a 16 count. It's, it's slightly bigger than what this mm -hmm. is. This is definitely an 18 count and this is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the Floba. I'm going to use this next one that I'm going to show you. So that's a good, really good option. The other one that Kathy had that I am in love with is this 18 count natural undyed linen. So it's an 18 count natural undyed linen. And as you can see, it's quite stiff. <laughs> What? what are you giggling about? <laughs> a couple of jokers here. Look, I'll cover us all up right there. See, now they can't see anybody. So this is an undyed linen, natural linen, 18 count. And I will be, in order to copy Patty's pillow, I will be doing this um, over two. Well, it's not really over two, is it? Because that's... Yeah, so it's 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 over two, not over one, but it's it's not really. It's like counting it like an ADA, because this is it's almost over six, isn't it? It's not. It's over two. It's over two. She's the expert. She's telling me it's over two. Mm -hmm. It's going to be big, and so I have my flosses. It's all DMC that I'm using. This is the Cookies for Santa pattern because I want to be just like Patty when I grow up. So I'm going to stitch the exact same pillow. And because it's huge and I know I'm going to be using a lot of thread, good old DMC. So I'm all ready to go. So that's it. That's the fabric that I'm using. It should be fairly straightforward for you to find yourself. And I will be using four strands. 
not six. I think I'll be using four mm -hmm. strands, but never say never. If four isn't quite enough, maybe I'll add one and have five. Yeah, just go by the feel of it. Yeah, you never know. All right, so look. I've talked a lot here. Do you guys have anything else to offer? Yeah, one of the things about that natural undyed linen, that one that yes. you have, is that it's really stiff, which yes. will actually make it easier to stitch when you're stitching such large stitches. But I think it's going to really soften up. You said you yes. used it up there as you're, too. As you're handling it, as you're working through your pattern, it does soften up. And I would fold it because it's such a large piece and of fabric. And not use a frame. You'll do it. Well, I would, I, 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 yeah, yeah, do it in I hand. work in my lap. Okay. Yeah, I don't use a frame. And okay. I would fold it, the pattern, in so that the oils from so your it stays hands clean. It aren't nice. disturbing it. Yeah. That's a great, yeah. that's, that's a great tip. Good. This is why we keep her around. I know. <laughs> Pretty handy. And then I also imagine that it's probably because of the sizing. It's because of the sizing mm -hmm. um, that's been added to the fabric. So when you wash it, when you're done, it will also soften up as well because that sizing will be removed. Um, now Patty's pillow, she used twice the amount of fabric. So hers on the back is the same type of fabric as the front. I am most likely going to use a uh, Christmas fabric mm -hmm. on the back of mine because I have some little bit of fabric at home. <laughs> so that's how I'll be doing mine. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, once again, thank you for all of your nice things that you had to say about Patty and the house tour. And I know thank for you. sure that I'll, I'll have her come back another time. And if you want to see Adrian again, check out the Fiber Friends podcast. So. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. So Kathy has just passed me a very informative note here. Um, similar fabrics to what we've just shown you that you may also be interested in looking at that will give you a similar effect. Um, there's a there's an 18 count linen that's available through Witch Alt, and different colorways. You can get Wild Raspberry, which is a similar color tone to DMC 3802. There's a Lamb's Wool. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Could yeah. you imagine that with like a white snowflake design yes, on it? Yes, totally pop. That would look, actually, that would make a beautiful pillow. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. she's thinking. Uh, yeah, 3802. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a natural brown, which is the color that I'm getting. Uh, there's an ivory and there's a natural light. The other fabric that she suggested is made by Zweigart and it's called a cork linen and it comes in a 20 count uh, size and apparently it's quite a bit softer than, than, the, uh, than the witch alt that I'm going to be using. But either or, I think you'll be able to find something that will make you happy. So there you go. Now I'm done. We're done now for sure. Bye bye. So we'll see you bye. tomorrow. Merry Thanks guys. Christmas. Merry Christmas.